wolf. Yeah. Where's the L's at? Representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Fenrir, a wolf. the wolf of Rathalon. It's from Norse mythology. A huge world ending wolf beast. He's the child of the trickster god Loki and a female giant. Man, after all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all star. A wolf tattoo. Then that means. Exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. I can't believe she died before we ever met them. The Fenrir, so it must have been Mukuro. What? Uh, hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. What? Are you saying the mastermind is dead? Now we have to have a true last trial? No. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. But I mean, being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. All it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. If I remember correctly, that other information came from... Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? So that means... Kyoko got it wrong? Um, who was she? Who was Mukuro Ikusaba? She's been gone this whole time? And when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Then who's the real mastermind? Me. Because I'm the one playing the game. The Hope Speak Academy headmaster after all. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. My information was not wrong. Okay, okay! We're in the middle of a trial right now! Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost! Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit-chat as much as possible! Fine. Uncovering the identity of the Mastermind will have to wait. But remember this. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Dab. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because Come a on, murder like, get on with this shit. has taken place. Hammer that point straight into your big old brains. What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Then one of us killed Mukuro? No, it's a Wait, suicide no. again. Smile. There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along. Nope. There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events. Seriously? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. Huh? Hey. I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Based on what we know, there can only be two suspects. Me and Kyoko. I got it! You've narrowed it down to Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. I'm so Just happy he's smug night, again, and I can I hate him garden, and like him so at the I can same time. That at that point, there was no dead body there. So, the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. The gym? 
That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis... ...are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Exactly so. So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Damn it, I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. Um, I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Are you thinking of raising an objection? Well, before that, I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took place. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well, it was after nighttime for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we found the body? Oh, but what time did we find the body? The one who saw the body first was Toko, right? And she went to go get the pickaxe. 9 a.m. Smile. The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. Since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Flashback to an hour ago. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. No, that's wrong. For me... I was already asleep before nighttime hit, so I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? That was around... Oh, yeah! Right around 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about it. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. Murder happened between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m. and I don't have an alibi from 10 till 7.30. Okay then, it looks like the game has begun. If I can't provide an alibi for that period, then I just have to prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. Sprinklers, baby, sprinklers. <clears throat> sprinklers, brother, let's go. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be... Hey, is it the sprinklers or is it going to want me to say that the body is dry? Okay, it does mention it there. We've established a time frame for the market took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and the code was back from 10 to 7.30. Wait, what? Come on, bro, how's that wrong? Just say there is sprinklers. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 and 9 o'clock. Yep. And Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Do I have exploded body analysis? It might be that because I mentioned it's yeah, dry. From 10 but so did the sprinklers. It's That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So I guess I'll do that one. I feel like sprinklers should have worked, but... We've established you, a game. time that took place somewhere between 10 o'clock and, and 9 o'clock in the m yep. and the Yeah, from 7 30. It's neither! Shoot! Nani? We've established a time frame. Because it's not the fucking fake nails, it's not the damn tattoo. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock and Oh, night that's and what's wrong. In the morning. I'm an idiot. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi. I was shooting the wrong time. one. Yeah, from 
That's more than enough time. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now we're... <laughs> Zillium We've established a time frame for them that took place somewhere between 10 o'clock and... I'm no, so dumb, bro. Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. It had to have taken place way later. And what makes you say that? Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. Oh, hold on. I remember this part perfectly. The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. No, you're, you're wrong. wrong. <laughs> Are you saying only the mouth down south was Oh wet? my god. <laughs> How dare you use such a decent word? <laughs> calm, calm down there. No, I'm saying that the, the body mouth was down wet, south. But not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean by denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny my entire existence? Yes, I am. Man, Be gone. You're totally wacko. If you really think it wasn't the sprinkler, I need to prove that it wasn't the sprinklers that got the body wet. All I have to do is hit Toko with certain evidence and that should do it. Uh, okay. Oh, it's another one of this shits. I admit nothing. No, no, no! This is enough! Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. No, no, no! That's it. Trying to blame me? I admit nothing. I'm right about this. I admit nothing. No, no, no! That's enough! Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. No, no, no! That's enough! Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. Easy. This should prove it. This should prove it. Just remember what the body was like after the explosion. Easy clap. And you'll see Let me why it wasn't just the drop shit all over my desk. The top half of the body was wet, yes, but the bottom half was completely dry. If the sprinklers got the body wet, Shouldn't the whole body have been wet? So they only got the top wet? The bottom was completely dry? What a brutal maniac! I'm so sick of her. <laughs> Let's just move on. The reason only the top half was wet was because... While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water. But only the part on fire. The top half. Oh, then I guess the sprinklers really didn't. Work. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7:30 in the morning. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at nine. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from 10 o'clock last night to 7:30 this morning, right? So there's no way Makoto could have done it. I guess you had an alibi after all. Good for you. Good for you. We did it. In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. Kyoko's the only one without an alibi, which would mean that Mukuro's killer is... No, I refuse to believe it. Kyoko murdered someone? That's... I'd just like to say one thing. If you vote for me and I die here... The mystery of this school will stay hidden forever, which is why I can't let that happen. She's going in. Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. This is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide 
tried to blame me? Stop wasting time! Stop wasting energy! You really think your little trick is gonna work? Shut up, you! <laughs> <laughs> you got it, boss! Shutting up now! Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Catastrophic. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So, that was her motive? If she had a motive and no alibi, well then... I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. Uh, the trial can't be this short, buddy. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. What are you... Because you see, there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. Just be dry. Just don't get wet. I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. A certain something at the scene was used to cover the body. Could it have been Le Tarp? I got it. Or the missing chicken? You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? You catch on quick. You're right. All you have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto She's coming just after my ass. Why would Kyoko say that? Why would she want to make me look like the killer? No, I can't think about that right now. That tarp. If it was used the way Kyoko said, the tarp must have touched the body, right? But the body... Wait. Something's not right. And what might that be? I can't worry about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's going to think I'm the killer. I have to refute what Kyoko said. Make your arguments. Uh, body before the explosion, I think? That mentions the blood, right? The corpse had a mask and a white jacket. There were blood stains around the wound. The blood was still wet. Yeah, that would mean. It sounds the right. Killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side was because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty. Shit! Wait, I was on the wrong bullet. I'm an idiot. I'm dumb, dude. I was on the wrong bullet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty. No, that's wrong. Pew. Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Byakuya said it himself. Not to touch it, or you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. 
Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they'd used it. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> More than that, hmm. what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind ah, of I keep dropping shit. Huh? The blood was camouflage? What if? After the Yo, they killed a chickie. Avoid the sprinklers. They then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim. You mean someone else's blood? Where would they get that? No, the like missing that? chickie. I know. They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. That's what Hifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? No. That's not what happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. Cluckles, no. I got it. Press F for Mr. Thing. Cluckles. Chicken blood? What? Chicken blood? When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. But after the murder, there were only four. I can't believe Mr. Cluckles so was the murderer. Saying, someone killed a chicken and then covered the body with its blood? Man, that's messed up. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have at least eaten it. I wonder Eat if the more killer chicken. had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Anyway, there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. True. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. The ground was completely clean. I have to agree, that certainly is strange. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. But it was still wet, dog. They covered it beforehand? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Um, I think so. No. Bring it backwards. No. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. Then that settles it. Sorry. I'm having a tough time keeping up. What settles what? Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off, but the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body, the coat they'd already covered in blood. This series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off at 7:30. If that's actually what sounds kind of weird, bro. It certainly becomes possible that the murder happened. I'm not sure I buy it. But to pull all that off, wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult, huh? They already had the coat ready. So they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. And stab a knife through the damn thing. They'd be done in no You're time. You're wrong, Kyoko. Maybe, but still. Hina, after you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? She doesn't know, dude. Don't Pepe oh, laugh no. me. I headed off to the gym and Makoto... She doesn't know that later. the knife was in the per in the body. Because the knife was stabbed through the coat. Then he had plenty of time to spare, wouldn't you say? <sighs> That's not... Don't bother saying it's not possible. <sighs> She's coming after my ass. I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. And the suspicion falls back on me again. But why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? I don't understand. Disguised dead body has been added to the truth bullet section. See, the knife is stabbed through the coat, you pleb. They couldn't have just draped the coat over the body. Well then, it looks like we're back to square one. 
Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. For serious, man? Which one of them did it? Hey, why don't we let luck decide? Oh my Let's god. Let's flip a coin. 50 50 odds. Okay, Two Face. Oh. See? Pretty good idea, right? No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. You know that knife we found all black and burnt? The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. That's what I thought when I first saw it. I just remembered. Flashback. They gave Makoto the knife. It's the knife we gave to Makoto? You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it. It's just... I couldn't be sure of what actually happened last night. I thought maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto. Now I'm totally convinced he did it. 12,000% convinced. Oh shit, he's 12,000%. Considering everything up till now, I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that I didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer. <laughs> 